Hey everybody, welcome to the E3 hangar today. I wanted to talk to you guys about this bumper. We get a lot of questions from E3 camping, RVers that love to off-road, and we get a lot of questions from off-road that are also obviously RVers. So we've got a lot of questions and a lot of people have seen this in some of our Instagram posts and pictures and videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend a minute and show you, talk about this bumper, but also we did modifications to it. And that's what I'm gonna show you here. So. Let's take a peek at it. So again, this is rock hard four x four. We'll put links to what this bumper is. However, we modified this bumper ourselves. So if you're an off-roader or like RVers that off-road, you know, a lot of times we like to take these off-roading when we get somewhere like parks and things. And a typical tow package, as you know, has like other bars down here where we have our breakaway switches, our power, things like that. And we rip them off all the time. I'm sure everybody can relate. If you're an off-roader and you're an RVer towing these rigs, you know, we've ripped those things off a ton of time. So we actually designed and built this from a rock hard four x four bumper and we modify it. We cut it out. We did some screwing and things like that. That way there, none of these pieces are actually exposed. So we can go off a bump, go off a hill, back down off a rock or something like that. We're not ripping all of our stuff off. So. Here's how we modify it. I mean, obviously this is easy. We got our power here on this side. This is our typical tow package. Hookups that are just attached to the bumper. They're there. We don't have any pins. We don't have to do anything like that. And then what we've done is behind here, we've got our air brakes and we got our breakaway, our emergency breakaway. Now these are behind. So obviously when we're off-roading, we're not ripping any of that stuff off. But then when we go hook up the tow package, we hook up here, the air goes up inside. And basically how we did this, how we modified it is, this is just screwed through. Back here, we cut this out. It's just a square we cut out here. And then up in here is an L bracket that we just mounted with screws to one of the pieces that are inside here. So it's a steel L bracket, we painted it, and it just holds these two pieces here. Beautiful setup. I wish somebody on the market would actually build these and make these, or hey, rock hard four by four. Maybe you guys should build this for RVers and, uh, off-roaders the RV, because even off-roaders, we like to tow our rigs behind um, our vehicles if we uh, don't want to have to bring a trailer and stuff. So that's this bumper. Um, if you have any questions, put some comments below. If you've seen anything else like this that you'd like us to share or, or investigate, please let us know in the comments below. But um, again, that's the, the bumper setup. Hopefully that answered a lot of your questions and uh, we'll see you soon.